It's always good to see if we have some propane, and we do. I'm gonna check out the heat exchanger. It was looking kind of rough last year. I noticed that the filter was missing in the upstairs grill, and downstairs it was pretty dirty, as you can see from the picture. So I'm gonna try to clear this off with the Lava Monair brush. See if I can get a little bit cleaner and vacuum up some of this crud. Not a full coil cleaning, but just kind of free up some of this big stuff on the floor. I'll do on this one. I've done most of the coils you take and just kind of free up some of this stuff. And I've gone throughout the coil and kind of cleared it off a little bit. Not perfect. Needs a little bit better cleaning than the spring. It'll do for now. So we can do our combustion test. Guys, you can see the little heat exchanger right here is looking kind of rough. If we look down the bottom. See if I can get it in there. It's rough looking for sure. I need to get. Let me get a light in there. See if I can see any pinprick holes coming through. Okay, guys, I put the light in there. Try to peep around for some pin pinprick leaks from the inside with the scope from the outside. I put the light on the other side. Pretty good visual examination. Shows no holes, just a whole bunch of holes waiting to happen anytime, basically. So I'm not real happy with this gas pack. Don't really like how it's set up. You know, there's our evaporator, then our heat exchanger, then our supply. So not really. Don't really get that, but that's fine. Use the Milwaukee scope over there. I've had that for a while. It's a pretty good scope. I haven't used it since probably last winter, and the charge is still good, so that's pretty good. But I'm about to fire it up and put the 320 on it, see if we have any issues as far as oxygen entering the heat exchanger during combustion when the blower takes off. We'll check it out. Starting up the Testo 320. We'll turn the power on to the Zebra stat here in a second. We'll be able to control it from out here. As you see, this thing is looking awful rough emphasis on the awful I've cleaned it up I've fixed the connection there on the inducer motor repaired that before but things are kind of falling apart here and it might be to the point where it needs to go bye bye that's probably what I'll recommend just because it's a safety hazard now but let's start her up and see if she has any more glaring problems we have the eye manifold up there that has our temperature spread on it I'm gonna go ahead and flip it on heat one which is the white wire they're all connected over here, as you can see. Turn that on. Something should have happened. I hit it this time. I had it set in analyze mode and not activate mode, which is my problem. There's our inducer. It's nice a whole bunch of crap flies out the end of it. We're gonna see how she does. Didn't get that fast enough. The burners might be blocked again with debris. They rusted. I had to clean them out last year. Looks like I might have to clean them out this year too. Temperature is low, our oxygen's high, our efficiency's high. A lot of excess air. And it's because, well, that's because we have 
not enough gas pressure going to this unit either. The gas valve needs to be replaced because the, the port where you take it off so you can test the gas pressure is stripped out. It's been that way for about a year now. So we really need to replace this sucker. The, the whole thing is it's just falling apart so it's kind of in bad shape. But we have 29 degree split right now. It's still building up so we'll see where it ends up. But you can see what the story is here. It's kind of a nasty old unit. The heat exchanger doesn't leak as far as I can tell with the oxygen test and with just visually inspecting it. But it, it's sort of the, it's one of those things where it could be any day it could just rupture right in half on one of those seams. So I don't think it's worth it. We'll see if the guy thinks it's worth it. I was turning to the AC just to make sure everything was working. It should be because it's been cool in the summer. Suction pressure above 75 based on that little tiny check there. Pretty close. The drain was a little stopped up so I had to vacuum it out. But flooded the interior compartments. Surprise. But just a nasty machine in the gas area. Doesn't technically fail as far as the heat exchanger. There is a lot of concern going forward. I think it's worth replacing. Some others may not. So I'll propose it. Maybe I get shot down.